Fiona Charnley and I'm co-director of the UKRI Circular Economy Hub which is part of the NICER programme. So over the last three days, we have been in Glasgow at the Engineering uh, Net Zero Showcase, which is an event that EPSRC have led to showcase all of the different grants and programmes and activity that's taking place across the UKRI and EPSRC remit to do with net zero. And we're really keen to talk to people about the role that the circular economy can play within that. We know that 45% of all emissions, greenhouse gas emissions, are to do with resources and consumption. So without actually addressing circular economy and resource efficiency, we're not going to achieve net zero. Textile at the moment is one of the um, huge source of massive waste in the environment. And we are trying to see how we can use electronics to improve uh, this waste generation from textile. The problem with electronics and non-circular electronics is that we dispose the devices at the end of life. If we come up with new technologies to make devices more circular, more sustainable and non-disposable, we can have multifunctional devices which can scale from one application to another, helping us reduce the footprint of our whole electronic system. So underneath our feet here, there are old mine wall mine workings that are full of mine water which is warm at 14, 15 degrees uh, so we can use that that water we can bring it up to the surface we can take the heat out of it and we can put it into a heat network that will provide heat so again another circular economy a use of the resources that are right underneath our feet in terms of circular economy biomass offers I think like loads of opportunities because there's a lot of bio-based waste streams that we can use both for energy uses but also for things like chemicals on top of that I think that the obvious opportunity with biomass, which maybe sits outside some of the normal circular economy thinking, is that the biomass is actually taking CO2 out the atmosphere anyway, so if we then break it down, that is actually circular in itself. Um, one example I know we're looking at in particular in our centre is to try and take waste carbon dioxide and transform it into useful products. As waste CO2 is causing a greenhouse gas emission problem, we can take what is seen as a waste and a nuisance chemical when it's in the waste gas form and transform it into a product. Then that not only achieves a net zero um, goal, but also is a circular economy um, approach as well. As we move to establish um, new infrastructure for hydrogen, then we should give some close attention to the design of the products that we are deploying in the first instance because if we spend a little bit more time thinking up front about those from a circular economy perspective then when we come to the end of life for those components we can make it much simpler to recover them and then to reuse them for the next generation. If you look at the UKRI strategy, one of our key themes is building a greener future. And the circular economy forms yeah. quite a key part of that uh, as we look to make sure that the resources we use in the future um, will be circular and will be sustainable because as with any finite resource, the clue's in the name, it's finite and we will not have it forever. So I think circular economy is absolutely essential for net zero. I think it impacts in a lot of ways, but I also think it's much more important than that uh, as we go towards building a greener future.